So you're a new musician and you're making your first EP album single and you're realizing that there's more to music than just actually making music itself. Yeah, you gotta learn some new skills. So that's what we're gonna talk about on Music Production Simplified. Welcome to the Music Production Simplified channel. I'm Jesse Haifmeister, and I'm here to help you create a more productive workflow by optimizing your brain. Because when you think right, you act right. So we're gonna talk about why you need to be a jack of all trades as a musician today. Things have changed a lot. You know, back then you would just create the music and you'd maybe send it into a record label and you'd hope that you'd get a response and get a record deal. And then they take care of the rest, right? And then you go tour and you sell albums and merch and course the record label would screw you over and take most of your proceeds and you'd be in debt to the record label um you know and it still goes on today but things have changed for most people including myself independent musicians that's the way of the future man things have changed and um it's just not the same as it used to be with uh music distributors like distro kid and tune core and cd baby you have so many options of releasing your music professionally and at a very um uh, cost effective uh way might i add i use distro kid myself um and i recommend it to most musicians uh, i think it's the most affordable way i'll leave a referral link down in the description if you want to check it out only 19.99 a year uh to release as many albums singles eps as you want but really what you find as a new musician is that you can't just make music you, you gotta create cover art you gotta market um you have to brand yourself you know and you may realize that you pretty much got more than you bargained for you know you're thinking ah you know i just wanted to make music and i kind of wanted to sit in my room and then you know hide from society and, and just not have to worry about socializing but really without the marketing aspect and and without having plans to actually release it to the world like you're not going to reach anybody you're not going to build an audience and, and i think most musicians want to build an audience because we want to reach people right even if you don't want to be the most social person on social media like facebook and instagram and twitter and all that and TikTok, that's the big thing right now uh they say all musicians need to get on it i have not got on it yet let me know down in the description if you guys have you know been using TikTok and if it's been, wor been working for you but really we have to be creative and you know you you just can't just make music um guys it's just it doesn't work if you really want to take this seriously as a, as a music career you really need to start building skills you need to become more valuable in the, in the marketplace and it's just something that it's kind of like a harsh reality but it is what it is you know along with everything that i mentioned about recording and mixing and mastering and creating cover art and learning how to market and branding yourself and, and not only that but just learning how to be a better musician how to create better music and be a better composer and arranger and all of these things there are other things they get to think about like creating videos like how i'm doing right now this is one way that i can actually get out as an artist myself um although the the purpose of this channel actually is to teach you and educate you but yeah i i, I mean you know eventually i'm gonna pitch some of my music that, that's coming out and i'll tell you guys hey go check it out you know if you want to support me by creating these videos it's a way to give you guys value and help educate you and teach you something and help coach you and encourage you and inspire you to make more music and, and to do it in a faster way by simplifying your workflow and it, and it also helps me get music out there too and so i'm trying to find ways to be creative i think we all should um find ways to to figure it out together you know um, let me know in the comments you know what what is working for you guys i really find that networking is the key but that's hard because you know you don't necessarily jive with every musician and you don't want to work with every artist but i would say you know if you have certain friends you know to hang around th that are musicians you know hang around them and, and learn from them how can you guys work together as a group to get out there so like if you're a rapper for example i have a few friends that are rappers um and, and i help produce for them and that's a way that i help serve them in their needs but they help each other by rapping on each other's tracks. So they become features. And what happens is on Spotify, for example, basically, Faithen, he's an artist of mine that I produce for, and then there's St. Patrick and ATK. And they all like feature on each other's tracks. So like when you go to like Faithen's album, you'll see a feature that you can click artists and then you can check out all of their music and vice versa if they find that other artist that was a feature on say faith and track they can actually discover faith in through that and so um it's just a way to get out there it's, it's you basically are combining audiences i call it cross pollination and that's just a just one one great way to really get out there if you guys are looking for ways to market yourself it's really connections guys it's relationships it's all about that find ways to serve people find ways to just connect with people who are into the same things as you are um you know and offer a skill um because you may find that you have to pivot which will be a, a whole nother video in of itself but some some of you are just gonna have to pivot 
what you do as an artist because you can't make a living as an artist and you're going to have to serve other people like you're going to have to produce like I do on the side and I'm trying to branch into other things. So yeah, say you're trying to create music videos for other people. That's a way that you could serve them uh, in their need. Um, you can make a lot of money doing that. It's very expensive to shoot music videos, um, professionally that is. Sometimes you may have to do free work at first just to be able to get to a paid position. I worked with Faith In when he was Nate Wood. I, I produced a whole EP and pretty much album for free, but it was a way to get experience. It's a way to work with an artist who was already more established than I was. And yeah, and now produce for him and some of his other friends, which I got a connection through his friends, through other people who actually pay me. So it's just about connection, guys, and it's just building blocks one thing at a time. But the point is being a jack of all trades is, is really important. I do believe in honing in on certain things, um, if, especially if you're trying to serve a specific need. You know, like say, you know, if you're a musician and you, you are trying to make money through music itself, you know, like being a, a composer, you have to decide, okay, a uh, composer for what? Like video games or TV and film? And then, so say you wanna be a video game composer, we'll just focus on composing music that is dedicated for video games, that fit video games. Go with a specific vibe, stick with a specific genre. Anyways, yeah guys, so just, just learn on finding ways to pivot outside of the normal, just creating music. Um, and really, I think that it's, it's almost essential is that mo for most of you that are on a like really strict budget, you need to record and mix and master your own music. Like that, that at least is, you know, that that that's probably like number one. I would say, you know, that, that that's the thing that you should be learning the most. But it, hey, if you want to pay for the convenience, like I have people who pay for my skills and and they prefer to just, you know work through me and then they don't want to have to worry about it, then fine i mean that's what you pay for you pay for the convenience right but but if you're willing to learn and which you guys should be willing to learn some things try to find ways to save money that way try to find ways to become more valuable so that you can actually get yourself out there because i mean i'm telling you you know facebook ads which i'm gonna make a whole nother video on that is is uh very expensive and it's not going to be a cost effective way for you guys to build your brand and you as an artist because you have to look at it that you guys are entrepreneurs you may not you may not um see it that way but that's that's really what it is you know you're, you're arguably you are a self-employed musician unless again you are specifically working for a company like you're a, a a teacher music teacher or something at a school that is a little bit different but i mean of course you could also teach on the side um with your own business and your own brand but um so ho hopefully this makes sense um i don't want this to discourage you guys I actually want this to encourage you um, I want you to keep building skills I want you to keep making music I just want you to find ways to save money to be wiser a, a be a wise steward of your time so that you can get things done quicker and faster and so that you can kind of adapt to this ever-changing world and um, I'm still trying to figure it out let me know uh, guys in the comments below let me know what has actually worked best for you what, what skills do you find is the most valuable in the music industry what do you find has helped you get out there as a musician is it a certain platform Form? Is there a certain uh, technique? Is it a, a certain type of song or genre that, that you learn that you think is, is popping? You know, it's, it's hot right now. Like, what is it that you think is helping you grow? I really want to know because I'm trying to figure it out myself and I've just learned a few things. And I, again, I think pivoting is the key. Just build skills and go from there. So anyways, uh, I'm Jesse Hafemeister and I hope I helped you create a more productive workflow by optimizing your brain. And yeah, take care guys. See you in the next one. Hey, if you liked this video, would you mind leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification? Uh, it helps this channel grow and helps me be able to create more content for you guys. And if you want me to cover something specific, let me know uh, in the comment section down below. If you'd like to take your music journey and career even further, I created a free PDF guide on how to create a more productive workflow by optimizing your brain and the top 10 ways to do that. It'll be right here or in the description below.